What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Serving in the military means you put your life on the line to fight for others who can, meaning most soldiers are typically owed like a debt of gratitude. I'd say most people try to support vets in their endeavors and jump at the opportunity to help them, but unfortunately some people have taken advantage of that, so today we're going to look at 5 fake soldiers who got exposed on camera. Anyways, if you know someone who's joined the military, leave a like on the video. Let's try to aim for 5,000 likes, and if we can get that, we might make a part 2, but with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5 Everyone knows that being homeless isn't an easy situation to be in, but there are some lines you really don't cross when you're trying to get help. I mean, all this guy was doing was walking up to people's cars and asking for donations, which really isn't that bad when you think about it, but it was his outfit that was the problem. Like the dude was in a full army uniform and a sign said that he was a veteran that was struggling with being homeless. The thing is, that just wasn't true and another vet driving past spotted the lie straight away. Obviously, he was really offended that someone would use a uniform he was so proud of as a way to get money, so he asked the guy to take it off. Now the fake didn't even argue, he admitted he wasn't really a vet and got changed right away, but the other guy just wasn't satisfied. So what happened? Well, the real veteran ended up following him for several blocks, yelling at him for not understanding how wrong it was to trick people like that. Like he was so angry that people thought that maybe he'd gone a little bit too far, but I'll let you guys decide if that's true on your own. I saw a gentleman in uniform with a sign that said army veteran homeless needs help. I realized pretty quickly that, that this was probably stolen valor. He got out of his car to go face to face with the panhandler and he does as he's told, but Goodwin doesn't let up. That's my uniform! Yes, sir. My brother died in that uniform! I'm sorry. You don't seem to understand that, do you? I do understand. I don't think, I think he's bullying people that at this intersection when he walks up to the window in full military uniform and he's bullying their heartstrings and bullying their sympathies. Number four. So not everyone pretends to be a soldier because they're desperate. In fact, this guy basically just did it to boost his business. Not just that, but faking being a veteran wasn't enough for him. So he pretended to be the most decorated Navy SEAL in history. You may be asking why. Well, he ran a self-defense training camp and he thought that seeming so impressive would be a guaranteed way to bring in customers. And it worked too, since almost everyone believed him as soon as they saw him, and those who needed proof were shown tons of faked emails and discharge papers proving his story. I know it sounds unbelievable, but he genuinely got away with it for a good amount of time, but it gets even worse. After a while, he got bored with just self-defense, so he used his new identity to trick some students into investing into his new quote-unquote genius idea, a security firm overseas. Obviously, it was a total scam, but I mean, damn, you should have seen the real Navy SEAL because he was not happy to hear about the imposter. Carol, herself a Navy vet, was a student at Dickens' military-style self-defense school. That's Dickens running and gunning in videos he made to promote his business. It looked like you know, a lot of fun. Learning from a Navy SEAL was part of the fun, but Dickens wasn't just any old SEAL. He claimed tours of duty in Vietnam, Grenada, Desert Storm. You name it, he's been there earning him the status as the most decorated Navy SEAL in history. If anyone asked for proof, he had his discharge papers at the ready. He says A.J. Dickin was no ordinary SEAL faker. For one thing, his claims were so over the top. Remember those discharge papers? The awards in here are outrageous. Why are they outrageous? Oh, he says he's got two medals of honor. That hasn't happened since World War I. In fact, Dickin never served a day in the military, and his phony resume was missing a few details. Like the burglary conviction that landed him in a California prison. For the team back in Burundi, that last bit of Dickens' cover is blown to bits. But knowing he's a fraud is cold comfort. You're sitting in the middle of Africa with somebody that you're pretty convinced at this point is a sociopath at best, a psychopath at worst. The team hightails it back to Nevada, and Carol Roberts wastes no time blowing the whistle about the real A.J. Dickin. I went to one of the doctors with all of the evidence I had and said, you have a problem. Number three. Now maybe the worst thing about this video is, the guy knows he's been found out, but he just refuses to give it up. Like he's posing as a US Marine in full uniform, and he doesn't exactly blend in, so it's weird that he seems so surprised by all the questions. Anyway, he has a whole story about where he was deployed and who he worked with, and even has an excuse for why he has no ID card, but the more he talks, the more obvious it was that he was faking. By the time he gives up his fake presidential cross, the game is definitely up, and every mistake he makes in front of the actual vets confirms it. 
I mean, he gets called out for wearing medals and ribbons at the same time, as well as for wearing sunglasses until they finally flat out accuse him of being fake. The amazing thing is he still denies it and even tells them they need to back up because he's like some kind of military police officer too. The whole thing is kind of ridiculous, but I'm kind of impressed that he refused to give up the act. I mean, he was dead in the water the entire time. You're not, you're not even wearing the proper infantry uniform and you're wearing no, the, yes, I'm just wearing my, no, no, that's yeah. not the it's proper not, infantry uniform. What's, what's the army, what's the army uniform regulation? Regulation? What's the, uh, what is it? What, what, what you gotta be dressed now? No, no, what is the regulation? What is the actual code, regulation? What's the code? The code is, do my best, do my duty to serve my country. That's the uniform I'm regulation? Talking the, I'm not, talking about the duty, Marine, sir. You're right, I am. Marine. I'm for, you know that's called false valor? No, it's not. It is a federal crime for you I'm, to be wearing that uniform right no, now. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And what you can do is get out of my face right now. I, but, I, but, because I'm a military police officer also. No, yeah, where's so your what, where's your MP where's badge? 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 MP badge? Yes. It's in my car. No. It, no it's it's, it's okay. We, we understand. We already established that. Let me tell you that something. That you're, that you're fake. I ain't fake. We have, there's actually a Where's your cat card? A, uh, Do you know National what? Guard officer here? Yeah, I seen him. I yeah. talked to him. He even said you're wearing your shit's fucked up. I'm Listen. a jumper. You, no, you don't wait to wear that. You don't wait. Let me tell you something. I'm a fucking boy and I'm special forces. So get the fuck out of my face. Nope. Number two. So pretending to have served in the military is bad no matter where you choose to do it, but making up a story about being a Marine is extra weird when you're currently behind the counter at a GameStop. Like I have no clue what made this guy think this is a good idea, but when a real Marine came in to buy something, the staff member insisted he was a real Marine too. Like he said his uniform was at home and that he still went on the base to get his hair cut for free, which is a really specific lie as well as a strange one. Anyway, the real Marines played along until they had enough evidence to prove he was lying, and then went through and corrected every lie he told. It's pretty brutal, and the guy isn't happy about it at all, since he goes from calm to super angry in less than a second. I'm not joking, he ends up swearing at the dudes and telling them to leave, but he doesn't even bother denying that he's lying. Even worse, all this happens in front of a bunch of customers off camera, who I bet had absolutely no idea what was happening. Which, on which uniform? My camos. Your camis? Yeah, that's it. That's the last time I put a patch on. Oh, oh yeah? A patch on your camis? Yeah, I had to. They gave me my new patch when I, and I never, I, all I did was, I put it on with a pin needle because it never been. I got customers, guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, you don't sew patches on your camis. That's yeah, against Marine Corps. Just don't go on the pants. It. Bro. They go on the collars. Bro. You know, you know there's a law against this, right? You're not, it's called false valor, man. It's called, I have all my shit at home, so I don't really give a fuck what y'all say and y'all can do. It's, we'll, we'll leave, man, but it's, it's false okay. valor, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you were a Marine if you weren't a Marine. Do you have your ID? You're talking to two guys who've given, dude, we've given so much for this country, you know that, right? It doesn't matter. People die, man, to get the fucking title Marine, man. Number one. So I've got no idea why anyone would choose to fake being a veteran in the middle of a random mall. But that's exactly what this guy decided to do, and he probably would have gotten away with it if another soldier hadn't taken a closer look. I mean, maybe the guy just wanted to look cool or impress somebody, but that's still super messed up since like, I don't know, you didn't serve? Anyways, at first the other vet wasn't even suspicious, he just wanted to see where the guy had served and maybe talk to him about the stories he had. The thing is, his uniform up close had about a dozen mistakes, like his flag was too low, his shoelaces were wrong, and the number of stars he had was impossible for someone so young. So yeah, as soon as the vet knew what was going on, he started shouting stolen valor and letting everyone know that the guy was a fake. Like even when he talked about losing friends who wore that uniform, the faker refused to give up the act. But his face made it clear he wasn't about to try a stunt like that again anytime soon. All right, thanks, Elizabeth. Hey, one fake hero learns the hard way. If you're going to impersonate a U.S. Army Ranger, better make sure there's not a soldier nearby. You're in second bat, Rangers? Yep. There it is. Where's your combat patch at? Uh, I gave it to a little kid again. All right, why is your flag so low on your shoulder? It should be up here. Got me on that one, bud. Why don't you just admit you're a phony? You know it's illegal, right? What you're you doing right now? Let me tell you something. If I was a phony, yeah? then I wouldn't be wearing a shirt. You wouldn't? No. Because you are phony. I just called you out about 10 different things. This is illegal. What you're doing right now is illegal. Because you know what? I've worn that uniform and I've had friends get killed in Afghanistan wearing that uniform. Stolen Valor. Right here. Stolen Valor. 
Wow, Sergeant Ryan Burke, the U.S. Army veteran that confronted that phony hero, is with us right now. Uh, Ryan, thanks so much for your service. Thank you, appreciate it. Set the scene for us. Looks like you're in a mall. You spot something, and what did you do? Uh, I spotted this guy in an Army combat uniform. He went into a store. Uh, I went in for a closer look because I like talking to fellow service members, see what unit they were in. And uh, as I got closer, I noticed uh, a couple things were off with his uniform. Um, his flag was low. His uh, boot laces were untucked. The badges on his chest were uh, kind of off-centered. So I took a step back and I uh, just watched him talk to a little boy and kind of tell him his stories about, um, you know, being in the military and this and that. And there's our video on the top five fake soldiers that got exposed. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to see when I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.